Marcia, you can start. The, you can start the call. Let me just get this live on Facebook. Let's see. Immune health with Dr. Odin. That's what the title is. And we are going live. Okay. Well, thank you all for joining. I really appreciate it. And I just wanted to um, let you know a little bit of how I got into Juice Plus. And my husband actually meant Angel. And um, they were at Bloom TV, uh, Bloom Today TV there around in, in Tennessee. And they were both there re getting ready to record a, se a segment. And they walked out and started talking. And um, that uh, Angel started telling him about Juice Plus. So then it went several months past that. And then re Angel reached out to my husband and he said, well, just contact my wife. So she sent me her website and I looked at everything and I've been pretty healthy all my life and was looking for just, I just wanted something else. Um, I don't take medicines. And so I was looking for something and, um, and we, we hooked up and I'm just, I'm so happy I did. It was one of the best decisions I've ever made. I love it. I'm so so I'm now gonna turn it over to Angel and she's gonna tell you a little bit about her and then turn it over to Dr. Odin. <clears throat> Yes, thank you so much, Marsha, for putting this together, and thank you, everyone, for joining my journey. Um, I, I was always into fitness and working out and exercise, and then when I was diagnosed with a brain tumor, I knew I needed better health. Um, having a health scare will really shake you. Did anybody else ever have a health scare in your life, and that's what brought you to this product? <laughs> oh, my goodness, or a history of bad health problems, so... I met a nurse and she said, Juice Plus is simply fruits and vegetables in a capsule. And once I had recovered from surgery and radiation and all of those things, I was doing my own research and I found that is the foundation for good health. Really, we all need more fruits and vegetables. And as I dug deeper and you know, kept trying to get my family healthier, I realized it's a challenge to get enough. And if you've ever had a health issue, if you're over 50, if you work out a lot, <laughs> you need up to 20 servings, really more, 20 servings of raw fruits and vegetables and berries and nuts and all those things. So when I found out that's what Juice Plus is, I said, of course, I'm getting started, wanted my whole family on it. And we are all in the best health of our life. And even though as we're aging, it seems our health is getting better. So I share this with everybody I know, and I'm so glad I got to know Marcia. Um, but I did meet Dr. Odom through this company. He is an OBGYN, 45 years experience. He delivered over 17,000 babies. So everybody can kind of wow on that. <laughs> And he's been with the Juice Plus company 24 years, recommended it to his patients, had wonderful outcomes. And I'm just so grateful. He's our, our mentor in our business and loves sharing health and wellness. So I am going to, um, Dr. Odom, would you like me to show that vi short video on immune health before we get well, started? Whatever, whatever you guys want to do is fine with me, yep. whatever. All right, well, there is a short video on immune health and I'm going to show that so make sure you just stay muted out so everybody can hear it. I'm going to share the screen and if you have questions please hold them to the end and we're going to do a Q&A at the end and Dr. Odom can answer your questions but he's going to do some teaching that might answer some of those questions first. Today I am going to share the results of several clinical studies showing how the added nutrition of Juice Plus fruit and vegetable capsules can help support your immune system. The immune system is very important to staying healthy because it protects your body against external invaders, unhealthy substances such as toxins and stimuli such as irradiation or psychological stress. In short, it enables your body to distinguish between what is healthy and what is unhealthy and to respond appropriately. There are several things we can do to strengthen our immune system, 
including getting enough sleep, regular exercise, reducing stress, and drinking plenty of water. But good nutrition is especially important in maintaining a healthy immune system. There is overwhelming scientific evidence that plant-based nutrition from fruits and vegetables helps support the human immune system. And there are four published peer-reviewed clinical studies showing specifically the effect of added nutrition from Juice Plus fruit and vegetable capsules on the immune system. These four studies were conducted at four different research institutions. Charité University Medical Center in Berlin, Germany, the Medical University of Graz in Austria, and the University of Florida and the University of Arizona in the United States. And they were conducted on four different types of subjects. Healthcare professionals in a hospital setting, athletic men in a special police unit, young law school students, and older people. For example, a six-month study at Charité University Medical Center in Berlin showed that Juice Plus fruit and vegetable capsules better supported the immune system in healthcare professionals at Charité Hospital compared to placebo. This study was published in the British Journal of Nutrition in 2010. In a 28-week study at the Medical University of Graz in Austria, Juice Plus fruit, vegetable and berry plant capsules better supported several indicators of immune function compared to placebo in physically fit men who were members of a special police unit. The Graz study was published in the prestigious Journal of Nutrition in 2007. In an 11-week clinical study conducted at the University of Florida, researchers found that Juice Plus fruit and vegetable capsules increased antioxidant capacity versus placebo, as well as strengthened immune function compared to placebo in healthy but stressed Florida law school students. This study was also published in the Journal of Nutrition in 2006. Finally, in an 80-day controlled clinical study conducted among older subjects from age 60 to 86, researchers at the University of Arizona found both improved markers of immune function and increased blood levels of important antioxidants in the elderly subjects taking juice plus fruit and vegetable capsules. This study appeared in the journal Integrative Medicine in 1999. That latter point about antioxidants is especially important because maintaining a healthy immune system can also be related to antioxidant status. Juice plus fruit and vegetable capsules have been clinically proven in 21 separate published peer-reviewed studies to significantly increase blood levels of important antioxidants and other plant nutrients in as little as 28 days. To summarize, the human immune system is our frontline defense against external invaders, unhealthy substances and other stimuli. And there is broad scientific evidence that plant-based nutrition from fruits and vegetables helps support the immune system. There is specific scientific evidence from more than 20 years of clinical research on Juice Plus and from four published peer-reviewed clinical studies that the added nutrition of Juice Plus fruit and vegetable capsules helps support the immune system. Awesome, I love that. All right, so Dr. Odom, we have all gathered, we have quite a good group tonight. We have gathered because we know our immune system is so important, especially today. Um, there's never been a time in the world, I don't think, when everybody knows we need a healthy immune system. So um, I'm just going to hand it over to you, Dr. Odom, to share away. Oh, I appreciate it so much, uh, Angel. Thank you so much. Thank you, Marcia. And the video that you just saw is a few years old. Um, and what we didn't know when that video was produced um, and what we know today is almost night and day different. So I'm going to give you some things to add on top of that, uh, the message in that video. But um, it is important for us to have a robust immune system. And um, infectious diseases are one of the leading causes of, of death uh, in the world today. 
uh, over 700,000 people died uh, last year from what are called superbugs. These are antibiotic resistant bacteria. And it's uh, been projected that by the year 2050, that more people will die from infections from these superbugs that are resistant than, than cancer. This is worldwide. So uh, cancer, cardiovascular disease and diabetes are uh, leading uh, causes of premature uh, preventable death. <clears throat> and uh, what's, what is um, missing in most of the language that you hear is that these deaths to a large degree are preventable if you have a strong immune system. So uh, there's so much that we can do and there's so much that we haven't done, but that we can change by making one simple change. And uh, the, uh, the strong connection between the immune system and gut health is becoming more and more apparent every month that goes by and certainly every year that goes by. And there's no area of medicine, there's no area of science today that is being studied more than uh, gut health. So let's back up and dis discuss a little bit about gut health and uh, the term microbiome. The microbiome is the genetic material of the bacteria that we're hosting. And depending on who you read, uh, there is at least a one-to-one, -one, if not 10-to-one ratio of bacteria to human cells. Uh, we know that we have in the neighborhood of 10 to 60 trillion human cells, depending on who you read. And uh, we know that we have uh, an, at least a like number of bacteria. And some experts and researchers say that we have 10 times the number of human cells, or maybe uh, as many as uh, over 100 trillion bacteria in our bodies that we're hosting and that we're feeding every day. And uh, there have been so many books, I was trying to keep up with all the books uh, that have been uh, written on gut health. And uh, <clears throat> the, the, my, my latest book is The Microbiome Diet. And it's what you can do to have a healthy microbiome or healthy intestinal bacterial balance. So why, why are we talking so much about bacteria and gut, uh, gut health when we really, the subject tonight is immune health? Well, what goes on in the gut determines our immune system. And what goes on in our immune system determines so much of uh, what's going on inside our intestinal tract. So we have all these bacteria, some people call them good and some people call them bad. We like to say beneficial and non-beneficial. They actually have uh, technical names. There won't be a test. I'll just tell you one time, the, the non-beneficial are called permicutes and the beneficial are called bacteroides. We'll just, we'll call them good and bad from here on. Um, up until the last, uh, century or so, maybe 70 years to 120 or 30 years, most people living on the planet had a bacterial balance favoring the beneficial bacteria. And in my lifetime, I was born a uh, World War II baby. Uh, we've eaten so much artificial food, and processed food, and our consumption of sugar has increased uh, dramatically during my lifetime that uh, we are now uh, very typically a country of unhealth because our bacterial balance favors the wrong, the wrong bacteria. Uh, when we have more of the non-beneficial, that leads to what's called leaky gut. It's also called gut permeability, but it's really called dysbiosis, D-Y-S-B-I-O-S-I-S. And that's 
that is one of the leading causes why we're developing these diseases that I just mentioned that are, are, are skyrocketing to epidemic proportions. It's also another reason why we have um, approaching 150 autoimmune diseases, uh, which is certainly contrary to what I knew 50 years ago in medical school, we had fewer than 10 of these autoimmune issues. Um, the um, the um, opposite of, of uh, leaky gut uh, is called symbiosis. And it just means that we have a bacterial balance favoring the beneficial bacteria. So to cut right to the chase here, the beneficial bacteria thrive on fiber and phytonutrients. In other words, plant foods. Uh, for some of you on the call that have been doing this as I have for a while, just think plant food. <laughs> just think juice plus, uh, think vegan. And uh, for other people that actually have an autoimmune issue, it can be fixed but the bacterial balance has to be reversed. We have to realign the bacteria so that we have a majority or a predominance of these beneficial. And we're talking trillions of these bacteria, but what we're finding is that if we're eating more fiber every day, if we're eating more fiber <clears throat> and we're, we're developing a stronger connection with the beneficial bacteria, they actually are thriving and literally overgrowing these non-beneficial. And you can actually change this balance depending on how far off of center that you are, but people can do it in 10 days to two weeks to a month, to two to four to six months. And uh, there's just so much that's been written about this balance and for, for optimal health, you must have a balance favoring your beneficial bacteria. So uh, other things that we know is that uh, it's not just what we're eating, but a lot of people in this country take medicine. A lot of people in this country take antibiotics multiple times a year. Others have issues that require medication to treat symptoms that doesn't really fix the problem. But uh, a lot of experts today are saying that uh, uh, proton uh, pump inhibitors like Prilosec and Pepsid uh, are the leading cause of this disruption or this uh, abnormal balance that we have. So it's not just that, but all of these things contribute. So uh, hormones, taking hormones, we didn't realize that, but that's a that's a uh, that's an interrupter. Uh, <clears throat> so what we really want is we want to have an immune system that is quiet and that uh, is not too excited. Uh, or not too strong, not too hyperactive, not too inflammatory, uh, but that's what happens when we have this uh, leaky gut syndrome or when we have the wrong bacterial balance predominating. Uh, on the other hand, what we really want is we don't want, excuse me, another thing that we don't want is we don't want our immune system to be too weak. And uh, that can also, occur when we have this imbalance. But when, when your immune system is not functioning up to its standard, that's when you're at a much higher risk to developing all chronic diseases uh, leading uh, to things like cancer and certainly cardiovascular issues. Uh, so uh, the bottom line is that we need balance and our, our immune system uh, needs to be balanced and it is and it will be when the microbiome is healthy and when it has the right, uh, when, when, you, when we have symbiosis, we have the right 
uh, predominance of bacteria. So what we do know too, is that the microbiome, these bacteria are able to communicate directly with the neurons in our brain. They can communicate, they are communicating directly. This is what current research is telling us with the genes in the brain. And uh, so it's, it's necessary to, uh, to strengthen our microbiome just so that we can have uh, uh, a healthier brain, better cognition, less brain fog, uh, all the different areas of, of brain function that uh, are seem to be deteriorating in our country today. So uh, I mentioned turning genes on and off. We know that the foods that we eat can absolutely affect the genetic expression of our genes. And in one study that uh, Juice Plus did, and he didn't mention it, so I will, and it's called the Newcastle study. And uh, that's Newcastle, Australia. And they were looking at uh, inflammatory markers and inflammatory genes. And they were able to turn on uh, uh, over 486 protective genes, 486 protective genes when they added Juice Plus. They were able to turn off uh, 1146 genes that were destructive, like a breast cancer gene, for example. So isn't it amazing that we know today so much more than we knew just a decade ago about how much the foods that we consume every day, how much it literally affects our health in every area. And we have some 10 trillion plus cells, plus or minus human cells, and all of them are connected to everything else. When I was in medical school, we, we studied the cardiovascular system, the reproductive system, the pulmonary system, the neuromuscular system. We studied all of these as if they were the only things going on. And today we know that everything is connected to everything else, but the, the core or the control center for all of this uh, is what's going on in our gut. And we, we didn't know that even 10, 15 years ago. So 85% of, of immune function is found in the mucosal lining of our intestinal tract. So it's very important that we feed the beneficial bacteria so we have the correct balance. When we do, when we have this, then we have health. And when we don't, we have unhealth or we have disease, we have illness. And we certainly uh, have more and more of these autoimmune diseases that it seems like every month I'm learning the name of a new one because it's affecting this endocrine gland or this enzyme, something. So <clears throat> all of it though, centers around what we're feeding these bacteria. We get to choose every day. Some of you have heard me a few times and you've heard me say that sugar is poison and it is, and it's feeding the wrong bacteria. We didn't, we didn't really understand all of this connection uh, years and years ago. In the early 1990s, uh, the, the government and other uh, scientific, uh, scientific experts were suggesting strongly that we eat at least five servings of fruits and vegetables. Those are complex carbs. Our government and our experts have ever said that we need to be eating more protein or more fat. They might say we need to eat better fat. We, we, but they might say that we need to be eating more uh, plant protein. But forever, uh, all these experts have been telling us that we need, no, need more fruits and vegetables. Again, these are complex carbohydrates. Fruits, vegetables, berries, seed, beans, nuts, legumes. We aren't eating nearly enough of those 
And that's exactly what's feeding our beneficial bacteria. So to fast forward where we are today, and I heard the word juice plus, uh, Marcia, you first said it there. Angel, I think you did as well. Well, I found it in 1998, four and a half years after it had been launched. Uh, and I just knew that our family wasn't eating nearly enough. And um, so it made sense to me. We ordered it that day. We haven't missed, well, that's not true. We've missed a few days because I did go scuba diving with the family for two weeks and didn't have them. And I wasn't really feeling any profound change, but it's very subtle. And uh, over a six month period of time before we went on our vacation. Uh, and, uh, but when I didn't have it, it's when I really noticed a difference. I, I've had arthritis virtually, it seems my entire life. I've been taking medication for it. And when I found Juice Plus and took enough of it and was consistent, uh, the uh, discomfort in my joints just over time disappeared. You say, how in the world could that happen? Well, plant food is very anti-inflammatory. Plant food, if it's in its natural state, not a French fry, not a potato chip, but in its natural state, when you buy it without, without re requiring a label. So we didn't know what it did to the, uh, to the gut balance. We didn't know what it did for gene expression. <clears throat> we didn't know what it did in so many areas that we're learning today. But if we, can, if we can eat enough plant food that we can get the right bacterial balance in our gut, what we're finding is that we have an excellent, I mean an excellent uh, likelihood of having excellent uh, and an excellent immune system. Meaning that it's not overly active, it's not under, under active, but it functions the way that it's supposed to. And when it's, when it's overly stimulated is when we have autoimmune disease because when it's overly when the when the immune system is overly stimulated we have inflammation occurring because of that and then it becomes a vicious cycle and then our immune system starts attacking our own cells and there are certain cells that are very vulnerable to this overactive immune system and one of them is the thyroid gland in a lot of women have Hashimoto's hypothyroidism. A lot of adults are developing early onset dementia. The brain is another one of those areas uh, that are affected by an overly active immune system. And then of course, so are the joints. So, but all of that can be markedly helped by something as simple as changing what we're eating. Just more plant food more fiber and more phytonutrients. Those are the, the, compound, the compounds and the components found inside the fibers that when we, when we chew the food, they're released, or when we mechanically juice, they are released. So again, we've been, we've been our family has been consuming Juice Plus for going on 24 years, and uh, we don't take medicine. We haven't had the flu. We haven't had uh, uh, a just a common cold. We, we've had excellent health for the last 24 years. I'm so thankful that we found it. And all of this doesn't have to be Juice Plus related. You can, you can change your microbiome by changing your diet. What Juice Plus has allowed us to do though, it's allowed us to accelerate this bacterial balance so that it's in a positive, in a positive uh, ratio. I'll, I'll uh, just say one more thing, and that is what happened while I was uh, uh, practicing medicine, when I could get my patients to see the value of more fruits and vegetables in their diet. When I started Juice Plus, we only had that uh, those two blends. Today we have a berry blend and we have an omega blend, which is healthy fats. But with just the fruit and the vegetable, 
uh, it made a profound difference in pregnancy outcomes uh, with my patients over a four year period. We virtually eliminated gestational diabetes, uh, premature labor, toxemia of pregnancy, also called preeclampsia or gestational hypertension. And the real big one, and what really uh, was the thing that I was really looking at, could I reduce premature delivery? That means when the baby's delivered before 37 weeks. And over a four year period, while these moms were given the option of adding Juice Plus or not, the, the, the uh, most important difference in the two groups was those that were consuming Juice Plus consistently beginning at least in the first trimester. Some of them actually started before they conceived. Uh, we didn't have any of those preventable pregnancy complications. The power of plant food and the power of having a robust immune system. So I don't know, looks like my time is probably up. It's question time. Is that right, Angel? Yes, I just love everything you said. And I've heard Dr. Oda many, many times. So it's repetition, it's sinking in, it's making sense. So you may not have gotten that right away. There's so many good resources we have. I just want everybody to know, reach out to the person who invited you. We have so many great videos on gut health and the microbiome. And um, it, it's just so good to know because we can choose. That's the good news. We can choose to get our gut healthy. If you want a healthy immune system, you gotta get the gut healthy. The gut is healthy when you add more fiber and phytonutrients, which is what Juice Plus is. We have the protein powders, we have, which has not only the plant protein, but the fiber and 15 different plant foods. And then we also have our fruits, veggies, berries, and our vegan omegas, um, which I did another call Wednesday, all about the omegas, how important those are. But we are starting a shred group Monday. And anybody who really wants to get serious about their immune system, I encourage you to do the shred with us. We have a free group on Facebook. Recipes, everything you need is given to you and you can drastically improve your health. And if you just wanna add Juice Plus, that's a perfect, simple way to start. That's what I started with, just adding these fruit, vegetable, berries, omegas. It's easy, it's a capsule and kids get free chewables. So if you have children, they need this. They really need this. And um, then the protein powder as well, I added that later. And now it's just one simple change after the next. And before you know it, it becomes a lifestyle. And that's what we really need is a lifestyle of healthy eating. So if you have a question, um, I know I got one question through a text. I'll start with that one. But if you have your question, get ready to ask it. Um, let's see. Vivian said to talk about Juice Plus. Where is it? Juice Plus with the kidneys and an oxalative diet. Did I say that right? Dr. Odom, do you know how Juice Plus would help that? Um, how will Juice Plus help, help kidney disease? Yes. She said um, an oxalative diet. Maybe it's not spelled correctly. Have you heard of a low oxalated diet? She's probably talking about uh, eating foods that don't contain um, uh, very, uh, very high concentrations of oxalates. Okay. And I can say that, that Juice Plus as, on a whole is, uh, is very, <clears throat> is very uh, um, as it relates to oxalates. Um, I don't think that there is much risk with uh, with us with us uh, the totality of all the foods that are in Juice Plus that uh, it would. Uh, I, I really am not sure, but I'm guessing that it would uh, it would uh, it would not be uh, dangerous or deleterious to someone that uh, has a oxalate uh, issue. Um, what, what Juice Plus really is, it's, it's so many different uh, foods that are all of the components 
so that what you really have with the powders in the capsules is not a whole lot of any one thing, but you have a whole lot of virtually everything that your body requires for health. So our company and uh, the, the doctors that are the, the people, the, the spokespeople for the company say right off that uh, this is not a medicine and we don't, uh, we don't propose that Juice Plus is gonna cure anything. What we do know is that the physiology of the human body is affected positively the more plant food that we consume. So the more variety of plant food. And uh, so again, it's a little bit of an awful lot of things, but uh, the magic is doing this on a consistent basis. We know that free radicals are compounds that are produced uh, and too many free radicals are by definition are called uh, chronic inflammation or oxidative stress. And we know that these free radicals can be neutralized by consuming antioxidants. Uh, and where do we find the majority of antioxidants, like over 99% of them in nature, uh, they're found in plant food, specifically fruits and vegetables and berries. Mm -hmm. So, uh, is there another question? That. Yes, I love that. It slows down the aging, guys. <laughs> and when you get it in you every day, your skin, everything improves, not only the immune system. Um, any other questions? Let me, let me go back to the slows down aging. Aging is caused by a loss of your telomeres. And your telomeres are the, the little uh, the tips of your chromosomes. And every time there's a replication, there's a duplication of that cell and that, that uh, chromosome, the DNA in that chromosome, every time there's a replication, uh, that's how we age. So we know that we can, we can slow down uh, the damage that's done to the telomeres by slowing down oxidative stress, slowing down uh, free radical formation. It, th when, when, you, when you consider aging, what can you do to accelerate aging? Well, one thing you can do is to exercise 20 hours a day, like somebody that I know that's known as the fitness something or another on this call. <laughs> another thing that you can do is you can, you can smoke. It's mm -hmm. just that is a free radical generating machine just when you're smoking. So either stop smoking or if you're a smoker, the only thing that you can only thing that you can do naturally to uh, to neutralize the damage that's being done by those free radicals is to consume more of these antioxidants. Free radical by definition is an oxygen compound missing an electron. Antioxidants are electron donors. It's why elite athletes that play like 45 or 46 years like Tom Brady changed their diet. He's a total vegan. He's been doing that for years. He's written a book and entire mm -hmm. chapters on nutrition. It's why he's playing at a high level because of his diet. He gets banged around like everybody else. He's producing free radicals, but he's neutralizing them. Yeah. And I'm sure he's not around anybody that's a smoker. So if you want to live longer, if you want to lower your risk for all chronic disease, Plant food is what we need to be consuming. And every day, don't eat the same ones you did yesterday. A variety is great. We say eat the rainbow. We, it would be great because every color, every, every food has thousands and thousands and thousands of these phytonutrients that are donating electrons. There are only 13 vitamins. Really, there are 12, but we call vitamin D a vitamin. It should have been a hormone. But there are 12 vitamins, 13 if you want to count that, that are donating electrons. They're all good for us. But that's not enough. That's not nearly enough. We don't have a vitamin deficiency in this country. We have a whole food deficiency. Very well said. Do we have any questions? I know that's a lot of information.
Is that Donna? Do you have something for us, Donna? No, I don't think so. I've been trying to listen carefully. And uh, uh, the stuff on the hormones, do these, will the fruit, the caplets, like I take a hormone, but I need it because I don't have a thyroid. So, but they're not going to counteract my medicines or anything. Oh no, ma'am, no, ma'am, no, not okay. any, not any more than than eating uh, a vegan diet. If you ate ten servings of plant food every day, do you think that would be harmful to your thyroid, well, or your or your kidneys, or your brain? Yeah. Well, I don't have a thyroid. I, I understand. Yeah. Okay. But you are taking thyroid replacement, which right, is what your right. thyroid was doing. It was making hormones for you. So you're just replacing them. A right. lot of women take estrogen and progesterone, maybe testosterone with it as a replacement when their ovaries aren't functioning uh, because of age or because uh, maybe they had them surgically removed. Those are, those are replacement. And that is, that's similar to, but not the same thing as somebody who's not making enough insulin and the pancreas isn't functioning. So you can take it in a shot or you can take it uh, in other ways if you can stimulate your pancreas to make more or you can get it from an insulin pump. Regardless of how you get it, it's important that you, that you get these hormones so that your body can function. The whole, the whole essence of what health is is trying to bring your body into a state of what's called homeostasis, where everything is balanced. Your hormones are balanced. The bacteria in your intestine are balanced. So it's not that estrogen is bad, but how much, how much progesterone are you producing? Mm -hmm. You only produce that when you ovulate. So, but if everything is balanced and you're premenopausal, you should be ovulating. Everybody doesn't, but you should be. But there's so many diseases and illnesses and syndromes today that are occurring because we are eating uh, the wrong foods uh, consistently and, our, and our, our gut is not balanced. And when I was talking about everything in the body affects everything else, it's amazing what we're learning today about regardless of whether it's a skin disorder whether it's a joint disorder, an eye disorder, a brain disorder, there is a connection to what's going on in the gut. And we haven't been really protecting our gut uh, very well, but in the future, you will be reading more and hearing more and more about what we need to do to have excellent gut health. And I'll just tell you, it starts with, and ends with plant food. At least that's where we are today. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Donna. Thank you. So, so adding, yeah, so adding Juice Plus will not have any counter effects with your medicine because it's simply food. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, okay. it's literally spinach and tomatoes and broccoli and cabbage and apples and oranges and cranberries. It's over 30 superfoods juiced, the sugar inactivated or most of it removed, which means that the powders that you're getting in these capsules have very, very few calories and very few carbs that people are so concerned about. Mm -hmm. But you're getting micronutrition. Right. You're, you're getting antioxidants to neutralize free radicals that are contributing to this chronic inflammation and this oxidative stress. Thank you. The key is to slowing down aging and developing disease. Right. Plant food. That's how simple all this is. <laughs> Any other questions? Yes, I have a question. Uh, I'm Janet. I'm 38 years old. Uh, and I'm looking for a suitable diet for my age. Uh, as well, I have a problem with my skin since I have a cellulite on my retinal side. So, how can Juice Plus? to tie my skin. I'm, I'm sorry, I've got, I've got an old computer here. Uh, I couldn't get mine to work and that's why I was a few minutes late. So Angel, can you, can you uh, interpret what she said? Cause I didn't get the message. Janet, can you type it out in the comments? I couldn't quite understand either. Um, 
I sent it to you. I sent the question to you. You did? Did you text it to yes. me? Okay. I sent it to you too. Here it is. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm looking for the best diet as well. And how you? How can just what help? On Messenger. Okay. okay. Let me get... Yeah. Get this. Okay. How can Juice Plus help keep cellulite away? That's a good thing. And your skin, especially the thighs and hips. Well, again, we don't say that uh, this is going to cure uh, or prevent this disease or that one. What we do know is the more plant food we eat, uh, the better functioning our immune system is, and certainly the better functioning our gut bacteria. <clears throat> um, cellulite is, uh, is, oh, everybody hates cellulite, and I understand mm -hmm. why. Those are adipose cells, those are fat cells, and uh, uh, the skin is the part of the ectoderm. It's one of the areas of the body that has a very quick turnover. It means that there's replication of cells uh, in a very short period of time. So the more plant food, the more active we are, the more we can actually burn calories to a point, uh, whether walking, swimming laps, dancing, jogging, running, biking, whatever you can do that will, uh, that will tax your muscles and certainly uh, uh, stress your skin and other areas, but on top of that, replace it with balanced nutrition. Um, you can you can certainly because the skin has that fast turnover as well. People that uh, that start Juice Plus, some of the first things that they notice are their hair, their skin, and their nails. Uh, acne tends to clear. Eczema uh, tends to do the same thing. Um, and uh, uh, as far as cellulite, uh, I'm not sure how long that will take, but uh, I will tell you that as you, as you get healthy, and the, our Juice Plus is not a weight loss product, we never say it is, but Angel mentioned the Shred 10, it's shredding bad habits, and it's making one simple change, it's adding fruit and vegetable and berry, uh, powders, it's adding omega oils, healthy fats, it's drinking two smoothies a day with vegan protein. Doing all of these things will literally help transform your body over time, not in a few days or a few weeks, but months and even years. As Angel mentioned, it's a lifestyle, and uh, but it's a healthy lifestyle. It's literally the roadmap for how to get healthy. It's the roadmap to bring how to bring your body into homeostasis, bring your gut into symbiosis and not dysbiosis. All of these things uh, take time, but shredding, shredding does two things. It's subtracting and adding. It's adding juice plus, which are healthy fats, healthy proteins, healthy complex carbs, as good as you can get. And it's eliminating those bad habits that we love because of taste, we love because of culture, we love it because it's what we do. It's come to our house and let's have a drink, uh, let's go to dinner, let's go, let's have a meal. It's, it's all these things and it's over a lifetime. And some of these are accelerating aging because it's accelerating inflammation. We wanna, we wanna lessen inflammation, we wanna reduce it. And by cutting out sugar, and uh, processed food, artificial food, uh, gluten and dairy, those four or five things right there, but just those simple things, you can help bring your body back into homeostasis and bring your body closer to the state of health that you really want. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, in the, and you can see changes. People uh, can see changes within 10 days. And, and, that's um, not everybody, but that's a lot of people, especially those that are starting from not an, uh, not an optimal or, or ideal area. 
Dr. Odom, I wanted to add to, we do have a skin study. Um, it helps with skin circulation, which is really important with the cellulite. And also, um, your toxins in your body bind to fat. So your fat protects your organs from the toxins. That's one thing I just love learning about the shred. So when you add Juice Plus, it binds to the toxins and helps pull them out of that fat. So you're going to start shredding the fat. And that's why typically people who take Juice Plus, if they you know, are exercising and doing all these things, they start leaning out better. You have a lower percentage of body fat. Um, and that's why I love the shred because I always provide workouts for our shredders. Anybody on here can be in it if you want. Um, it's, it's just a lot of fun to do it as a group. And the key is like Dr. Odom said, is adapting these healthy habits. It has to be a consistent lifestyle for it to, to keep those results. Um, we have another question. What is the best time to take the capsules, take them together or separate um, itself and fruits? And I've heard a couple of different um, Juice Plus people tell me different things, but I think the main thing is just take them. But what do you say, Dr. Odom? I would just say be consistent. Some people spread them out during the day, maybe some with with breakfast or lunch or in the evening. Some people um, take them all at one time. If you're if you're uh, consistent, uh, if if you can be consistent, what is uh, the highest recommendation is to split them up. Do some in the morning with a meal, breakfast. If you're, if you're intermittent fasting, then take some around lunchtime, take some around dinner time, uh, your evening meal. Um, and you can, you can take them, you can consume them on an empty stomach. I wouldn't start off that way. It's best if you take them with food and a full glass of water. Mm -hmm. So you can wait till after you've eaten and then take them. You can take them just before but they, they really are tolerated better if you are, uh, if you're, uh, if you're just consistent. So uh, when you, when you take them with food, these powders mix with the foods. And for some people, especially those over 55 or 60 or 65 that have a poor diet, when they start Juice Plus, it's a little bit of fiber, not a whole lot, but it's an insult compared to what they've been doing. And a lot of people, uh, not a lot, some people will develop gas or bloating that goes away within a few weeks. That bloating is associated with those um, non-beneficial bacteria, the bad bacteria literally dying and putting off a little endotoxin that's contributing to gas. And uh, it's called the Hertzheimer reaction. But uh, that's very transient and goes away. Uh, so when to take them, just what I just tell everybody, it doesn't matter if you forgot them and it's 10 o'clock at night and you're going to bed, go get them, swallow them, full glass of water. If you forget them and tomorrow you realize, oh my gracious, I forgot them yesterday, you can actually catch up. You can take more. It's food. It's not overdosing. You can overdose vitamins, isolated, man-made, in a factory, in a lab. But this is food, so you're you're not going to hurt yourself if you're taking more. Mm -hmm. I actually take more because I've had a lifetime of oxidative stress, chronic inflammation, and when I take enough, I don't have any pain. That is so good. And my habit is I keep them in a basket on my kitchen counter by my blender. So in the morning after I work out, I have my smoothie and my juice plus. It just becomes like brushing your teeth. It just becomes a habit. So I've heard if you want to make a new habit, put it by something else you're automatically going to do. I always have my smoothie. So I put it there. Maybe yours is coffee. Put it by your coffee pot or put it in your bathroom by your toothpaste. Um, somewhere it's going to trigger you and help you remember because it only works if you get it in your body. So I love that question. Um, and How I, many do you take? Okay, it, you, we take two of the fruits, two of the veggies, two of the berries, two of the omegas. If you do it all, that's what I do every day. So it's a total of eight capsules. Now, some people prefer the chewables. The fruit, veggie, and berry do come in chewables, if that's what you prefer. 
Um, and some people will just take the capsules. If you have a Vitamix, just throw them in your Vitamix. If you have another blender that may not be as strong, you can just open them up and pour the powder in your smoothie or just add it to anything, yogurt, um, a drink, just put in water if you want, but it's, it's really simple. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. And, um, Dr. Odom, I know it's time to wrap it up. So just really briefly, can you just touch on the keto diet? And I have a video about that. Is this Janet? I think it is. I can send you that video, but go ahead, Dr. Odom, about um, what is your opinion on the keto? Well, the ketogenic diet um, has been around for a long time. A guy named Robert Atkins made, uh, he, he wrote a book called The Atkins Diet. And in it, he, he strongly recommended that uh, people stop eating carbohydrates. In fact, he said you should avoid carbos, uh, carbs totally so that you could derive uh, your energy uh, from uh, ketone bodies, which are a breakdown of fat. And uh, because that uh, is a preferred energy source for your brain, and the good news with the ketogenic diet is that you can lose weight. Uh, almost everybody on that diet does lose weight. On the other hand, uh, that's the good news. The bad news is uh, you can lose weight, uh, but that is not a healthy diet because it eliminates carbs. It eliminates fruits and vegetables, berries, seeds and beans and nuts, all of these things that every uh, governmental agency and every uh, area of nutritional experts are suggesting that we eat more of these. So, but what Robert Atkins didn't do, he didn't say stop eating simple carbs. That's what he should have said. Complex carbs are foods that have uh, fiber and simple carbs have pretty much eliminated all fiber. Well, fiber is what feeds your good bacteria. Fiber is uh, how we measure the glycemic index, the amount of sugar and the amount of fiber and the, and the ratio between each of these. So uh, in my opinion, the keto, the keto diet is okay for a short period of time. And I'm talking less than two weeks. Uh, and you could do that intermittently. It's like intermittent fasting. Is that a good thing? There's so many good things happen when we're not eating. In fact, that's the, that's the only uh, documented uh, absolute way to live longer is to consume pure calories. Just don't eat as much. Don't eat as often. But our, our message is all about quality of food, not calories. It's, it's about nutrition. Yeah, so, and I love that um, a lot of people on the keto diet do consume Juice Plus because they're getting all the, the nutrients, but not the carbs. So I love that. So we can show you that if you need to see the label. You are welcome. Yay. Well, guys, thank you so much. I know we went a little longer than we expect expected, but it was all good. Thank you so much, Dr. Odom, for sharing that. And I just want to remind everybody, if you want free resources, we have them. Reach out to the person who invited you, recipes, webinars, all, all kinds of great stuff. It's all free. And then two, if you want to start Juice Plus, reach out to the person who invited you. Reach out to the person who shared with you. Get started. It's It can be life-changing. It was for me. And number three, if you want to partner with us, we're looking for partners because more people need this today, especially the world we live in. Everybody needs hope based on science. And we have that. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Marsha, did you want to say thank anything? You. No, I just wanted to thank everybody again for coming on. And thank you, Dr. Odom, for all of the information that you gave us. I really appreciate it. My pleasure, Marsha. Thanks okay. for putting this together. Thank you, Angel. Yes, yes thank you, Marsha. Appreciate you. Uh -huh. Thanks, everybody, for joining. Have a good yeah. night. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It is on my Facebook. If you want to share it, you can share it. Thank you. Thank Angel. You. Thanks, Erna. Good to see you. <laughs>